Goa. Everyone talks about the awesome beaches here, but let me also tell you what I saw beyond its beaches in India's holiday capital. Goa. What can I say that hasn't been said about Goa's beaches? I don't know anywhere else in the world where you can find excitement like this. I could spend hours just letting go. I adore the ocean. So imagine how thrilled I was to take a closer look. To explore the beautiful fish and coral underwater. And to soak in the sun with the cool waves at my feet and the blue sky above it was serenity at its best i would have never guessed that goa had lush greens like these Walking through the forest and listening to its soundtrack was easily one of my favorite parts of my trip. I don't know how, but that beautiful, long, winding trail helped me lose myself and find myself at the same time. It made me wonder what else Goa had waiting for me. There sure was a lot more waiting. I finally got to experience a hot air balloon ride and made a few cute little friends along the way. Churches and temples of Goa are really a sight to behold. Each one is bigger and more beautiful than the last. If you're looking for inner peace, this is where you'll find it. And if you're a shopaholic like me, then you'll be spoiled for choice. Where to start on the food? It's absolutely divine. Goans love their football, and I love watching them play just as much. With each setting sun, the holiday capital was working its charm on me. If I were to make a list of things to do in Goa. it would take me days because no matter how much you explore there's always more to see there's a surprise hidden in every corner the architecture the culture the people I quickly learned to always carry my camera with me even on a quick walk around the block. You never know what you might miss. Getting a 
getting to know a little about Goa every day was wonderful. But the nights, that's when it comes alive. felt super lucky to be in Goa. So I thought I'd test my luck even further at one of their many casinos. Jackpot! Boy, do Goans know how to celebrate. And I fit right in. From boat parties to clubs and folk dancing, the amazing nightlife kept me out and about every night. If you're into a different kind of wild, Goa has that too. You can become one with the outdoors and see things you've never seen before. One of my trip's most memorable moments was the wildlife sanctuary. A few friends and I woke up early and headed to the perfect spot to catch a glimpse of something majestic. And we were lucky enough to get a quick picture too. The Spice Plantation is one of the most fascinating out of all of Goa's hidden gems. We were greeted like royalty and treated to a wonderful tour of the place. The aromas, the atmosphere, the colours, it was like heaven to my senses. I'm so glad I took the time to get to know this side of Goa as well. At the end of my week in the holiday capital, I'd fallen in love. In love with the forever happy people I'd met there. I was in love with the soothing breeze that swept through the trees. I'd fallen for the stories that emanated from the walls of Goa's countless forts. And of course, for the sea, the sunset and all the magic beyond. By the end, 
I was left feeling bittersweet. I didn't want to leave, but I knew I'd be back. Back to hear even more stories. more of my ocean and for the most stunning beaches i've ever seen and all the crazy friends i'd made what goa does it finds its way into everyone's heart because there's truly something for everyone no wonder they call it the holiday capital goa see more Be more.